Okay, today we will discuss about the menstruation. Uh, 3.2 the circle the circle is the ratio of circumference of the and diameter which is equal the pi value the pi value either you can use from the calculator or 3.14 or you can use 3.142 in the circle the complete shape the round shape which is called the circumference which is equal 2 pi r from center to the circle is called the radius if we multiply radius by 2 it becomes a diameter and the diameter is the line which touch two points of the circle and pass through the center it's called the diameter now we know that if we multiply r by 2 it becomes a diameter so d equal to r or you can say r equal d divided by 2 ok let's see the question about uh, the circle in the first question we are given for each of the shape find the perimeter and the area all the lengths are in centimeter use the pi button on a calculator or take a pi value which is 3.14 2 all the arcs are either semicircle or quarter circles in the first part we are given a complete circle and we are given the diameter which is 10 and we know that the perimeter means the circumference of the circle which is also called the perimeter of the circle because the, the perimeter is the outer boundary of any shape now p equal pi d and pi either you can use from the calculator or the value 3.142 and d given here 10 so it means it, it is in centimeter so multiply them you will get the answer 31.42 centimeter which is called the perimeter of the circle we need to find the area of the circle as given in the question so we know the formula area of the circle is pi r square which is equal 3.142 and because the diameter so divided by 2 becomes the radius uh, which is 5 and take the square of the 5 become 25 25 multiplied by 3 we, you will get the answer 78.6 in the b part uh, we are given uh, the semicircle if you observe this is the curved part and uh, the, we need to find the first the perimeter of the circle the perimeter means the outer boundary so from here to here it is the curved part and this is the straight edge it means we add all these parts we get the perimeter of the circle so the curved part is pi d half pi d half y because it's a semicircle so that, that's why we divide by 2 and the straight edge is 20 so we add in uh, the uh, the curve part which becomes the perimeter of the circle if you simplify you will get the answer 51.42 centimeter now we need to find the area of the circle uh, area of the given shape uh, the given shape is the semicircle and area means the uh, shape which is uh, the space which occupied the shape and so this is the area of the shape inside so because it's a semicircle so that's why we know that the area of the circle is uh, the formula area of circle is pi r square now it is the semicircle so that's why divided by 2 so the pi value either you can use uh, from the calculator or uh, 3.142 and the diameter given is the 20 we divide 20 by 2 it becomes 10 which is called the radius and put the radius in the formula so you will uh, sim after simplify you will get the answer 157.1 centimeter square okay in the c part uh, we need to find the perimeter of the uh, circle uh, perimeter of the shape if you look at here uh, only this part this is the curve part of the shape and uh, which is uh, half of the circle if we look at here this from here so upper part is the half of the circle so that's why we divide the half circle by 2 and uh, plus the straight edges because the perimeter is what the curve part plus the straight edges the curve part per straight edges which is called the perimeter of the given shape and now the straight edges if you observe here from here to here it is the straight edge from here to here it is the straight edge from here to here it is the straight edge 
when you add them you will get the perimeter of the shape which is 26.6 okay now because this is the diameter uh, if you observe if this is 8 and this is also 8 from here to here the 8 value here now we are given the part of value here if you cut from the center of the circle it become the radius which is the 4 so anywhere you can move uh, it's called the radius either this side either this side this is the radius if you observe here if I cut the part here so it is also the 4 value but if you look at here the complete height of this shape is 7 from here to here it, we are given here this is 4 and what left the part so the it is 4 here and 3 here so what part left here 3 so it means this straight edge is 3 so these are same so this is also 3 so the complete length is this is uh, 8 so when you add them it becomes the perimeter of the circle uh, the given shape which is 26.6 centimeter now we need to find the area of the shape also the, we know that uh, if you look at here area means the occupied the shape uh, if you look at here this is the semicircle and this is the rectangular part which uh, combine together and becomes the complete shape now uh, if we look at here this is a semicircle means uh, pi r square divided by 2 it becomes the semicircle plus the length time width which is the rectangular part of the shape so we are given the semicircle which is uh, 3.142 divided by 2 times 4 square why because the radius is 4 so in the area we need the radius so divided by 2 so you find this one plus length time width which is 8 times 3 when you simplify them you will get the answer 49.1 centimeter square which is the area okay so we have uh, the area of C circle now in the D part uh, if you if you complete the shape this complete if you complete them so it becomes a square so area of square uh, means this length this length all length are the same so we are given this length and this length this is the actual length given but if it if you look at here this curve part only this part which is the quarter of the circle which is quarter of the circle so if you divide quarter of the circle by if, if you divide the four the the circumference of the circle it becomes a quarter of the circle so it becomes a quarter of circle and the, we add the straight edges 10 and plus 10 so simplify you will get the perimeter of the uh, given shape which is 30 5.7 centimeter now we need to find the area of the shape if you look at here this is a complete shape becomes a square so find the area of square then minus the quarter area of quarter of the circle area quarter of the circle so pi r square divided by 4 why we minus it because if you observe this part is just imaginary part we make the square because we are given only this is the shape we are given here so we need to find the area of this shape this one so if we minus the total square then the quarter of the circle then we left this area so x square means 10 square so semicircle uh, so quarter of the circle uh, which is r given because if you look at here this is the center point of the circle and uh, if this is 10 this would be 10 so radius is 10 so radius is 10 so simplify you will get the answer 21.5 centimeter square now in the E part if you look at here uh, uh, this is the complete shape if you observe here uh, if you flip them if you flip them flip the other side because uh, for this is the quarter part uh, he, this corner here and this is also if you uh, if I complete this shape look like the square if you observe this is look like a square okay so these are the corner point which is the center of the circle for each quarter so if you flip this one and this point come inside and this point come inside it becomes a complete circle it becomes a complete circle so these are all the points join on this point so this becomes complete circle which is becomes pi d so that's why we use this is pi d so it become a complete circle so pi d and uh, radius because uh, this is the diameter the complete circle if you look at here this is the shape of the complete circle is the diameter which is 7 multiply them you will get the answer 22.0 centimeter square now we need to find the area of this shape but if you look at here this is the complete shape which become the square so it means all sides are equal this is 7 this is 7 and this would be 7 this would be 7 so area of square minus pi r square complete circle if you flip it if you flip it so it become uh, a complete circle so area of circle 
सॉरी एरिया ऑफ स्क्वायर माइनस एरिया ऑफ सर्कल सो यू विल गेट द आंसर 10.5 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर व्हिच इज दिस एरिया बिकॉज़ वी नीड दिस वन ओके इन द एफ पार्ट वी आर गिवन हियर द कंप्लीट शेप इज दिस in which we are given the semi uh, circle and the rest of part is look like the rectangular part now uh, this is the semi circle so we divide the semi circle means uh, make the half of the circle so pi d divided by 2 and plus the straight edges plus the straight edges becomes the perimeter of the circle so d equal 4 because if you cut the shape from here to here this is 5 and the, uh, the complete length is 9 so what is left left for that 4 so 4 plus 5 give you the total value is 9 now uh, we need to simplify you will get the answer 26.3 we need to find the area of the circle uh, this shape uh, it means we need to find this area of this shape so it's a uh, half of the circle so pi r square times rectangular part length time width simplify this answer substitute the value simplify this answer because length time width this is 3 and this is 9 and semicircle pi r square divided by 2 and r equal because cut from here this is the diameter of the circle and 2 comes here 2 comes here which is the radius of the circle simplify you will find the answer at 33.3 square uh, centimeter square